Hi, welcome back to another Mav Computers tutorial. My name is David Cease, and I'm going to walk you through this process. Today, we're going to be working with VoIP options. Please follow along. There's going to be several videos and topics that we cover. If you have any questions, please post below, and we'll be glad to answer them. Welcome back to another training session. Today, we're going to be going over the Cornexa or CoreDial user dashboard. To access the dashboard, all you have to do is go to VoIP mavcomputers.com and then you're going to put your credentials in. Hit the sign in button, wait for it to log you in, and you're in the dashboard. Items on the dashboard include the home screen which will show you any calendar items that you have scheduled. Um, you have access to a soft phone simply clicking the um, dial pad here on the top left We'll expose this and as long as you have a microphone and speakers on your computer you can use this as a real cell phone. You have contacts on the left hand side. Unfortunately some of these are going to be blurred out for you on your screen but just like any other contact list you will have full access to community, personal, and any speed dials that you might have set up. Messages is a twofold. Um, this is just a test that we were sending back and forth just to show you what they look like. But messages um, are in between Core Nexa or Core Dial uh, users as well as SMS messages. So if you subscribe to SMS, which is text messaging, um, you will also get it here. It would just show a little phone icon. You have an option to create meeting rooms. And this is more or less for if you're going to schedule a presentation with another client or with a user, you can create the meeting room by simply clicking the plus button here and following the steps and entering your passwords. You have access to creating conference rooms. So if you're going to have a conference, you can have up to 50 users. Simply just same thing. Hit the plus sign, create the new conference room, enter in the passcodes that you might have, or choose, and then create room. Right. Next option is going to be voicemail. Okay. This is just for your user extension. So if you're extension 201 like I am, then this is everyone that has left you a voicemail. If you have access to another user's login, then you would have to log in as them to see their voicemails. If you were to click on the name, it would give you the option of playing the voicemail, downloading the voicemail, or deleting it. If you subscribe to call recordings, you will have this option. And it's as simple as clicking the recording button and then selecting the user that you want to um, listen to. You can either listen or again, you can download. And then lastly, is going to be call history. Call history is nothing fancy. It just shows you the last incoming and outgoing uh, phone calls that your phone has received or sent. Your user access or your username. At the bottom here you have apps and you have access to downloading a desktop app, a mobile app, or the automation manager. The desktop app is st uh, simply still in beta, so I would not advise downloading it quite yet. But the mobile app, named Cornexa, works fairly well. You'll use the same credentials that you log in with this portal into Cornexa, and you'll have all the same options. If you were to click on this Automation Manager button, this would take you to the admin section of your phone system. That way, if you want to make changes to the phone system, that's how you do it. Right. As always, if you have any further questions, please give us a call back, 512-251-6446, or simply email helpdesk at mavcomputers.com. Thank you.